like more understanding of it but i i also think that the company is a little bit of a position where we need to make cuts anyways on the va side it's they're costing us like twenty five thousand a month and it's a lot and i'm just like sheesh so um i'm thinking of i mean we got i gotta find something somewhere some people over there to okay Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, sweet. I just wanted to make sense or make sure it's not the same. Um, um, sorry. Cool. Um, because I'm I'm probably gonna go through the list of like everybody, and I'm probably gonna cut like for five of the VAs. Um, just kind of depending. Um, so, okay. Thank you. Very helpful. Um, everybody else, how are y'all feeling? This is good. I got to go in three minutes, but this has been good. Oh, you're talking about Adkins. Okay. Which one are you talking about? Adkins? Okay.
All right. Hello. Welcome, you guys. We are live with some group co coaching. And hopefully this is, um, we can get this going in here. This is going to be good. And the group coaching, just so everybody knows here. All right. Uh, Hello. Oh, I can hear myself. That's funny. The group coaching, just so everybody knows, um, this happens in, um, I actually have a coaching group. Uh, and it's cool. It's like a minimal monthly payment. Like, don't worry about it. This is not what I'm coming in here to talk about. Um, and so typically some people will come in here and if they don't, I can be able to give them the, the access to, I don't want to make sure everybody has access to this, but, um, if not, then I'm just going to go ahead and talk. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the deals that we got going on, but even how you all can kind of dive into some of these deals. I may even go over, heck, I'll probably go over, uh, I think a lot of people like to hear about our foreclosure process. So we could talk about that because somebody even asked me about what is the, um, the conversation like in that foreclosure process. So. I want to make sure that everybody has that. Let me post this in the ARIA group right here. Um, we are live. Where you join and ask your question. Feel free to ask questions. Um, again, those who come in here, uh, as far as like uh, the people in the coaching group can actually join this. But if you are not in the coaching group and you're just joining live on YouTube, make sure you ask your questions in the chat. Uh, there's not a whole lot of people in here, but I want to make sure that you guys can jump in here, ask your questions, and I will answer them. You know what? I might also go live on Instagram. Why the heck not? So let's go ahead and do that too. Boom. All right. Um, live group coaching. Let's do it. All right. I'm live here too. Um. Okay, checking the connection, now live, sweet. So, um, all right, so now we're live on Instagram and I hope that it doesn't die. We're live on YouTube right now and then I post that loot, that YouTube in the school community as well as also in the Facebook group. So happy to be live with you guys, happy to be chatting about this and happy to talk about just about anything y'all want to talk about. So make sure that you guys ask your questions. Some of the stuff I do wanna talk about and I can tell you about, uh, I can even, let's talk about creative financing. Somebody asked, and uh, um, on the poll that I made on my Instagram, what um, like this creative financing mastery. So we could talk about that because I got a couple of properties. So uh, a couple of properties that we purchased subject to. And so I can talk all about subject to for you guys, unless somebody says something different in any of the chats, that's what I'm going to talk about. So, uh, all right. I don't have anybody to join on either yet. And maybe just because it's the timing, but whatever. All right. If anybody joins, then. They can jump on in here and participate. Uh, copy. And we should be cool. I may let some of you guys in here if you want to uh, to join in here. So let's just go from there. Um, okay, sweet. So uh, some of the properties, let's talk about that. So some of the properties that we have, we've bought. We've bought, oh man, let me look at my CRM right now and look at the deals that we closed on subject to. Um, and we can talk about, honestly, just like some of these houses we have on the market, some of them aren't selling the way we wanted to or thought they would, which is really frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, let me actually see if I'm going to put this in here. Cool. I think that we can hear there. So that should be better on the video for that. Too. Um, okay. So a couple houses. All right. So we bought actually this house right here, 3015. Harbison Court. Let me pull this up so everybody can kind of see this because I think this is a cool one. These are one five Harbison Court. Out in Jacksonville. So we bought this property subject to the existing mortgage in place. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you guys here. So we bought this property right here. So for those on Facebook, you can kind of see or Instagram live, you can kind of see it right here. We bought this property subject to the existing mortgage in place. And what, um, what this means is, um, um, cool. So what this means is, um, we, this, this seller, for instance, you can see that we closed on this one. Mm, actually, I think we closed on this a little bit before then, but whatever. So we closed in on this one it, on 10, 9, 20, 24 for $252,000. Decimate 257. So some people would say, why would you buy this property? It does not have much equity into it. That does not make any sense. Um, well, and I'll tell you exactly why. So, and I'll tell you exactly what happened with this deal. So this deal, this guy purchased this property. If you look here, 
he purchased this property on 310-2023 for $229,000. So not much. In order for this guy to sell this property, he would have actually had to come to closing with cash. I think he would have had to come, come to closing with $10,000. So he would have had to pay $10,000 in order to sell his house. And so then a realtor, uh, actually a friend of mine brought me this deal. And then what ended up happening here is um, I said, hey, sir, I'll pay you $10,000. He wanted to pay his realtor. And so I said, I'll pay you to take over the existing mortgage in place. Actually, take over the deed and leave the existing mortgage in place. This actually had like a 6.7% interest rate. So not super high, but the PITI, which is the principal interest taxes and uh, insurance was about $1,600 a month. Whereas if we look on here, the, the rentals estimate on this is 1700 but if you actually look look the on um hud the the hud user website so for section 8 which this is a fantastic section 8 area um the fair market rent so i'm going to go ahead and look here for you guys what actual zip code and stuff is that so that county is that cuz i don't even know that is Duval county so if i go to Duval county on the hud website and i try to take a look at the information on here that it gives me, mm, where is this? Hold on, I'm trying to look at how to, oh, here we go. So if I look here, what are the fair market rents for this area? So Duval County in 2025 in Florida, this is in Jacksonville, Florida. So if I go here, Duval County, I know this, my house is a 3-2, it's a brand new build, brand new. Um, that I can get, and then the zip code here, three two two one eight three bedrooms, twenty one thousand or sorry, twenty one hundred eighty dollars. So I know that that is cash flowing for a three bedroom house, which is better than the fair market rents in the area. That is what HUD is going to give us. So I knew that it was sixteen hundred is the PITI, the principal interest taxes insurance, and um, twenty one hundred is the fair market rent that the HUD, uh, the government would give us in in rent um, rent money. So. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I will cash flow. It's going to cost me $20,000 for this brand new house, which is in Jacksonville, that will appreciate like crazy. So 100% pull the trigger on it. So I decided that's what I wanted to do. Pull the trigger on it. We purchased the property, left the mortgage in place in that person's name, and then deeded the property over to us. So that makes it significantly easier to be able to, in this climate, to be able to cash flow or come with like minimal cash out of pocket. I only had to come with ten thousand. I've got another one that's in a much better interest rate. It's like a three point one percent interest rate. That is on a golf course near um, the water in South Carolina, and I only have to come up with thirteen thousand dollars to purchase that property because they don't like the neighborhood. They don't want to live there anymore. And then I have actually in my coaching group, um, I have the, in the coaching group all of the calls. There was three, four calls convincing that person that subject two is safe that she could do that with me and she could feel really comfortable doing that with us. So I had about three or four calls with them doing that. So you guys can check that out as well if you would like. But yeah, that's where, um, that that's in, in that coaching group. So that's kind of what happened there. Um, and that's where we, we did that subject too. Now, when it comes to pitching this to people, um, because I want to give a ton of value on this live call right here and I want to leave it in there and I want to, to answer any questions anybody may have. And typically people have questions pitching this, people will ask a couple questions like, okay, well, what happens if you don't pay the bill on it? And I joke and I say, well, God forbid I get abducted by aliens because I've never not paid the bill on it. If that anything like that happens, then one, you have we have in our contract that states if we were to miss two payments and um, um, if we were to, um, if we were to miss two payments and then we, you give us a written notice that we do, then do not pay back to you, then you get the property back with the equity and all the payments. And a lot of times with foreclosures, like there's arrears that we pay off in order to purchase the property. So you get the full property back with all of those. So then they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then they, they continue to ask because they're like, okay, well, but this house is um, on, my name is on this mortgage. So what happens if it goes back into foreclosure? Like, what happens with my, a lot of people ask my debt to income ratio. So one of the ways that we can get around the debt to income ratio is the fact that honestly, um, you have you can actually tell the new lender, look, we have somebody that took over this property subject to the existing mortgage. So now they're paying 
and here is their um, here are their history of paid on time made on time payments that we don't take care of this now they take care of that and so then people are able to see that oh okay well that makes sense um, they've got it they're not responsible for that mortgage somebody else is and they have historically good data on it and either that they're using a third party servicer or something so that makes it much much easier for a new lender to then go take that off of the debt to income ratio typically they'll take about seventy five percent off and sometimes even a hundred percent of that debt off of that person's income um, income ratio and won't calculate it. So then they can go and purchase their own new property. Now, the only issue that really um, really like comes comes to play here is if the lender is a stickler. I mean, like an absolute stickler on um, on not giving the person uh, another VA loan. So VA loans you can typically only have one at a time. There are ways to get around this, and if you're showing that one, it's either um, you know, like somebody else has taken over that, which VA loans are assumable. Um, if you, most VA loans are assumable. If that is the case, then they won't have any issue going back and getting another one. But there are other things that you could do with it. I'm not like super the best at that. So if anybody has questions, I'm sure that I can get those answers. But uh, yeah, there's there's a ton of ways to get around that. Um, let me see here. I don't have anybody. I don't even know. Am, am I live on my... I guess I'm live, but like nobody has joined up in here. This is kind of crazy. Yeah, whatever. Um, nobody joined like any of them. It's all right. I'll keep going up live and I'll keep giving. So whatever. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I just want to talk about some of that. If somebody has any questions, heck, I'll go live tomorrow too. I got no problem with that. I'll go live tomorrow. You guys be expecting it. I need people here asking me questions so I can answer all of your questions. So make sure you're on live. I'll put the link in a Facebook group. I'll put the link in my free community. I have a free school community. I would love for you guys to put the link in. And then the people that actually get to be in on these calls, asking me their questions, like live, face on the camera, are the people in my school coaching community, um, which again, like I try not to charge an argument. That's a way for me to help a ton of people at a significantly lower cost. So um, not something I'm pushing on here right now, but definitely an option if people want it. So hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to be doing a lot more of this, going a lot li live a lot more and trying to give a ton of value where I can. So thank you all so much. Nobody showed up. So I'm just going to end it here. 15 minutes in though. Try to give as much value as I could. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I appreciate y'all. Peace.